Hey everyone, uh, Adam back again. Wasn't planning on really doing this on camera, but my buddy Jaden over at the Cow Vault, uh, again, you guys should go really check him out and subscribe to him after you get done watching this video, of course, uh, told me that it'd be a really cool idea to just show you how I'm going to be modifying this on camera, you know? Uh, and I think, yeah, I agree. I think it'd be a really good idea. I think um, it's something that I've looked for and haven't really found uh, when I was first trying to figure out how to do it. And so I'm going to do it myself. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is turning this cowl, this beautiful cowl, into a two-piece, hoping uh, I don't mess it up. So we're going to start with an X-Acto knife, you know? Just a nice, sharp-edged X-Acto knife. You want to make sure it's sharp. Also, I'm in another new location, as you can see. This time I'm in the basement, like a basement dweller. Uh, you can see previous projects that I've had uh, back there. If you're wondering about the boxes, I'm in the middle of moving. Um, which is one of the reasons why it's all been recorded on my phone instead of my actual computer and everything. Uh, but it's raining outside right now. Don't feel like going out in the garage again, so we're just going to be doing it down here. It also has decent light, so... We're going to start right here, right under the jawline. We're going to be coming up and around and just follow it up under the ear and then around the back in a straight line and then bring it down the other way. That'll make it a two piece. So we're not going to do the whole thing with the exacto knife. We're also going to use a nice pair of scissors. These are some uh, Guy Fieri scissors because Flavor Town, you know, um, really, they, they cut really well. Probably going to destroy them, but they cut really well. So we're going to start with a little incision right here. I'm going to try to keep my head out of the way. Start with a little incision right where we need it. Make sure we go all the way through. Be careful not to stab your finger. And you're just going to slightly move it over just in a sawing kind of motion till it's big enough that you think you can get the scissor blade through. Okay. So we got that. You can see right there. You can see the incision. Yeah. So we're going to take it. Slide the scissors in. Just cut. And if it doesn't cut right away, you know, you might need to make it a little wider to get more of the scissors in. But I'm just going to cut it all the way around in the pattern that I showed you. And it's not always going to be... Um, big long cuts you don't want to do that you want to take it slow you know little cut by little cut really make sure that you're not gonna go jagged or mess it up or anything so as you can see so far gotten it around the side here and you might want to go a little lower but this will be fine for me around the side here right under the ear and now we're gonna go straight across the back straight across the back and then do the same thing on the other side Bam. So, there you go. Now it is a two-piece cowl. So you saw me put it on before and how much it was a struggle. I had to lube it up. I didn't lube it up enough. Didn't go on. Got my lines relatively smooth around the edges. You know, not too bad. Trimmed up rather nicely. But here we go. I'm just going to throw it on right now. 
take it, pull the jawline down, pop my ears in. Bam, it's on. It's on. Again, I gotta put some padding in it so that this fits better. But yeah, it's on, it's all good. If I need to, I can honestly cut a bit out of here and then tying it together. Uh, but there's only really one thing that really sticks to urethane, and that's urethane. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what we can do about that. Uh, yeah, this, this fits on. Super nice. Took two seconds to put on. Just pull this bit off your chin. Bam, it's off. There you go. That's a two-piece cow. Now this, for the neck bit, the neck bit would still have the same struggle of putting it on. You know, you'd still have to squeeze your head through it. This is where all the, this is the bit that has all the pain of trying to put on a one-piece cow. So for the neck bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut straight down the middle. Straight down the middle of the back here. And I'm going to add a zipper or some Velcro. I just bumped the camera. I'm sorry. I'm either going to add some zipper or some Velcro. And then that way I can unzip it, put it on, zip it up, or just slap it on with a Velcro tab. So we're going to go ahead and cut it down the middle. All right. So we cut it down the middle, right down the center. I think, yeah, that's pretty close. It's ba yeah, that's pretty dead on, actually, I'd say. So we're going to go back. We're going to add a zipper, and or we're going to do Velcro. Uh, I've done both. I have some examples here. Uh, here's a neck piece I did with a zipper on the back of it. Uh, this is also a one-piece cowl that I turned into a two-piece. This was um, Tigerstone Effects, I believe their modern comic cowl. Uh, yeah, turned it into two-piece because, again, don't like one-piece cowls. Sewed the zipper in. Unfortunately, I did get the wrong zipper, so it's got a little tab down at the bottom instead of, like, a jacket zipper like this, you know, where it comes apart. Uh, I gotta cut off the ends, but, um, yeah. Sits, unzips like that. Even this is fine, though. It unzips. You just pop it on like that. I got my hood on. You know, I got my hoodie on, so it doesn't fit all the way down. But, um, you do that, and then you just zip right back up, and it's good. And then as for the Velcro one, so, as for the Velcro one, this is the Dark Knight neck piece that I got from the Dark Knight cowl as a flawed copy from Fanatic Effects, along with the top bit. Uh, it came as one piece that just needed to be trimmed and everything. It says it was flawed. I didn't. Other than a couple, like, splotches in the paint. Couldn't really tell anything was wrong. Again, made a two-piece. And then... Just some Velcro tabs, you know, on the back of it. One on the inside, one that comes out to, you know, connect it. This one's a little harder to get lined up perfectly, because, you know, it's Velcro tabs. Uh, it's not a zipper, it doesn't do it itself, but you know, it's the same concept, you just put it on, it's same concept, you just put it on, it's there, again, it's not sitting flush, because I've got my hoodie on, so yeah, I've got this, then I've got the zipper, and I'm pro the zipper, zippers are annoying for me, because how to I don't have a sewing machine. I sew everything I do by hand right now. Um, and I'd be sewing by hand through the urethane, which I've done once, but it's really, really annoying. Um, it'd be easier to do Velcro tab. But I'm not sure what I'm going to go with. I kind of want to go with a zipper just because that would add to the stitching detail, you know? And I think that would be really neat. Um... So that's probably what we're going to wind up doing. As for adding stitching detail to this bit of the neck, uh, not entirely sure if I can do that at the moment because I realized that I have packed up my, other than my X-Acto knife, which was 
very luckily unpacked because I because I just forgot to pack it. Um, all my other tools are already packed up. All my cosplay tools and everything are already packed up because we move in like a month. So I'm just kind of getting everything ready. Um, so yeah, that's already packed up. Can't do it, I realize, because of that. Uh, I can go through when I add the zipper to this and see if doing uh, little punch holes with the zipper not with a zipper, with the with the sewing needle, will look like it. Um, and it should, it should, honestly, it should give it a nice detail. It's not something I'd be able to do in this video without the video being like 30 minutes long. And I know nobody wants to watch that. But this is all for now, you know, we got this separated. I've shown off how easy it is to put on the two-piece cowls and why I prefer them much more than uh, one-piece cowls. And it's basically, it's that simple, you know? Just make sure that you do little cuts with the scissors instead of big long strokes. Um, and when you do the little cuts, by the way, you know, make sure you don't back up and cut again because you might get it jagged. Just little slow cuts of like snip, 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 snip as you go, you know? Make sure you have an idea in your head about what the path is you want to take uh, on the cowl. It's safer to just kind of draw it out a little bit with like, I don't know, like a silver sharpie or something like that. Something that can be like wiped off or visible and thin enough that it will go away as you cut it, you know? Um, but that's basically it for now. I am super excited to record the video in two days of me fully suited up and everything. It's raining right now. Otherwise, I would do it right now. Um, so, yeah. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, uh, and put that notification bell on so you can see more of my uh, future content. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.